Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this video we're going to take a look at launch operations or taking off in DCS Supercarrier. Now you can take off from four different catapults on the boat. Uh, on the bow, on the right, we have catapult one, on the left, catapult two, then we have the waste cats. Uh, the inboard is catapult three, and the outboard is catapult four. Now when you start a mission, some of your missions may actually start on the catapult itself, whereas other times you may have a hot start where you're in a parking space and you have the engines up and running, the avionics ready to go. And some other times you'll have a cold start in which the aircraft is completely shut down and you need to uh, start it up. But in the cases of a hot start or a cold start, you'll need to taxi from your parking spot, like here on the six pack, to the directed catapult. So in the top right corner, you see 300 taxi to Cat 1, and that indicates the catapult that the crew wants you to taxi to, in this case, Catapult 1. But that doesn't mean you have to go to that catapult. You can actually taxi any catapult you want. Uh, you simply taxi uh, behind the jet blast deflector or JBD, and the uh, deck crew will automatically recognize that that is where you wish to take off from and will assist you to do that. So we see uh, catapult three being launched and we'll wait for catapult two to launch here in a minute. And then we'll go over to catapult one. So when driving around the uh, deck, you want to make sure with the wings folded that you set your nose wheel steering button to high gain and that will allow you to turn a lot tighter on the deck. Okay, there's Catapult 2, which for the uh, JBD to come down. Now holding full right rudder, a little bit of throttle. Do a tight turn. And I'll place the aircraft behind the uh, JBD for Catapult 1. And you'll notice the yellow shirt with uh, the leg straddled over the catapult. And that's our plane director, and he's going to help us get aligned onto the catapult. And stop. With the arms outstretched, he's directing us to unfold the wings. Let's go ahead and do that. And now we see the wings coming down. You can also see now that he's pointing to the right, and that means he wants us to move our nose to the right to align our nose gear with the catapult. Now, because the wings are folded down, we'll need to hold down the nose wheel steering button to have the high gain. So while doing that, full right rudder and a little bit of throttle. Forward, now come to the left. Come forward, sign. Come to the left, come forward. And once you get in close here, you can manually just uh, place the center antenna on the nose with the catapult rail to get your line where you need to be. And when he puts his arms up with fist, that will tell you to stop right there. Next, he's going to give us the uh, extend the launch bar command by putting his elbow out and then lowering his forearm just like that. So extend the bar. Let's go outside. We're having the whole back bar attached. Now he's given us a signal to uh, come forward and we're going to place the launch bar over the catapult shuttle. And we'll first place the launch bar on top of it, about there. Now to move it all the way over, it's actually going to take a lot more RPM than you'd expect, probably 80 to 85%. And over. Crew is checking. Now we're going to do tension. There we go. And now he's given the signal to raise the launch bar. Let's go ahead and do that. Bar up. 
Now it's passed with the shooter, and you see he's uh, waving his finger up in there, and that's a signal to uh, put the engines to take off power. Before we do that, we have a check trim. Let's go give a few notches back on the trim button due to our weight. Cleared. Okay, running up the engines. And go to the radio menu. And ground crew, and we'll hit salute. And that lets them know that we're ready to take off. And now it's in the hands of the catapult officer. And we're off. Gear up. And clearing turn to starboard. Now next, let's take a look at launching from Catapult 3 without all the jibber-jabber.